Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm Leona Dooley and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time. And today in the kitchen, we're going to take a look at a very small haul that I made at the grocery. And then we're going to talk about the things that we're going to be using these items for. And as you can see, most of these items are very small. And there's a reason for all of that. So let's talk about it. And I'll share with you some of the recipes that I'm going to be using. Now, actually this week, besides the fact that we're looking at a very small haul, we're also going to take a look at some summer salad recipes that I think you're going to enjoy. And you know, sometimes when we think salads, of course we're thinking, lots of vegetables but also sometimes uh, when I think salad if it's a little chilly outside and there's just a little too much rain then I might want something just a little warmer so we're going to be putting that together as well so let's get to it because there's a lot to be done now first I'm going to share with you those things that are very very fresh and then we'll go on to some of the other items. I picked up three cucumbers because cucumbers really are at their prime this month. And so I have three very nice cucumbers that we're gonna be using in our summer salad. I also picked up a couple of avocados because avocados are delicious, they're healthy, they're such a good fat and we're gonna be using them in our salad as well. I also picked up one head of iceberg lettuce. Now I know so many people don't like iceberg, but it's a good base for whatever else that you're going to be using. I also picked up a few, um, I didn't get to go to the farmer's market, so I just picked up some basic Roma tomatoes. But when we finish with these Roma tomatoes, you're going to think, hmm, delicious. So if you happen to have farm fresh tomatoes, then certainly you want to go right along with that. But if not, Romas will stand the test of time. And they're quite plentiful right now. So, and you're getting the best Romas at this point. So we have a nice little bag of Roma tomatoes. I also picked up some green peppers, Whoop. green peppers, and I picked up three of them because they were also on sale because of the fact this is the season for your best green peppers. So I have those, and of course green peppers are going to be a part of our summer salad as well as some of the other dishes that we might decide to make this week. So three fresh green peppers. I thought I'd save myself a little bit of time and I picked up a bag of tri-colored coleslaw. Now, tri-colored coleslaw is a combination of green cabbage, carrots, and red cabbage. And all you have to do is to add whatever it is that you want and make a delicious summer cat coleslaw that you can use. And most of the time, you're gonna want your salads as heat friendly as possible. That means that you can take them on a picnic and not be concerned about mayo because mayonnaise and heat don't mix. Also, I picked up a bag of spring mix because it was very reasonable. And uh, certainly I could have bought these individually, but they were much, much more costly. So since this was a good price, I picked up that spring mix that I'm going to be putting together with my head of iceberg lettuce. Okay, now for one of the salads we're going to put together, I needed some rice wine vinegar. So I picked that up as well as an entire small bottle of Zesty Italian. Now, under normal circumstances, I probably would have gotten a gigantic 
bottle of zesty Italian, but it's summer. And you know, during the summer, we're doing a lot of traveling. And you may not want your salad dressing just kind of hanging out in the refrigerator forever. So because of that, I thought, well, the smaller one was actually a good price and was on sale. So I got the smaller size. I also picked up a bottle of white wine vinegar, which remember, we're going for those things that are going to be heat friendly for those sunny days at the park. Now, let's take a look at a couple of other things that I purchased. I purchased some additional strawberries because I had planned for a strawberry jam or preserves and I just hadn't gotten to it. And I ended up putting those strawberries into the freezer. Now that's not to say that I can't make jam from frozen strawberries, but it's even quicker if you can do it from fresh strawberries or even make a strawberry salad, which is absolutely beautiful. So I have an option here with this nice large container of strawberries and they're beautiful. I thought I'd pick up a plant of basil. So all I have to do to this little plant is to add water and I'm actually going to pot it and put it into a larger pot. But for the meantime, I'm going to put it in a place where you can see it going to place it right there because it's going to need to get water and in a nice sunny area. I also picked up quite a few canned goods and let me tell you why. Now first of all, I always have on hand organic whole kernel corn because I, it's very adaptable. I can use it for a nice quick summer soup and I needed, I had plenty of, of green beans, but not enough corn. So I've got the corn for that. And I purchased three cans of that. We're starting today with an easy and delicious summer soup. And it's so good. I mean, you can close your eyes and have this soup ready for your table. All you're going to need is one can of green beans. You're going to want one can of whole kernel corn. You're going to uh, want one can of cannelli beans, one can of diced tomatoes, or if you like stewed tomatoes, that's fine. You're going to want some chicken broth. I'm saying about a quart. You'll probably need just a little less. Your favorite seasonings and once you get there, give it all a good stir and place it into the microwave so it can heat. This easy and delicious summer soup serves two. And if you have a little person with you, it could even serve three. The real nice thing about this is that you can, you can actually serve one container and put the other container away in the refrigerator if you're just a single person 
or if it's just you having a meal, whether it's lunch or dinner, this is a great summer soup that's easy and delicious. I decided to add one bouillon cube that I split in half, and this is a chicken bouillon cube, and I'm just going to crumble it up between the two containers. You also notice that I added a few optional items, which was the Red Hot, uh, Frank's Red Hot, as well as Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. If you'd like things kicked up, those are certainly good options to try. You are always welcome into the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time. I invite you to subscribe and to hit that like button before you leave because of the fact that this is where we are inspiring home cooks to cook daily, to decorate their kitchen, and to love on their family. So I hope that you'll take a moment and uh, certainly join our family. And don't forget, hit that like button. So let's get to the rest of our video. Let me encourage you to eat some form of salad every day, mainly because of the fact that salads are very beneficial to our body. First of all, you may actually increase the amount of fiber in your body because of the vegetables that you're eating. Secondly, you're probably going to find that you'll eat more fruits and veggies because you know we want a minimum of eight to ten vegetables and fruits a day and that's a good thing you may find that your body will feel better because of the fact that you are increasing naturally the number of vitamins and minerals into the body you will also find that your body's going to process your food much better because you'll have a healthier gut now keep this in mind when you're preparing a salad, you want to have variety. Look at your salad like you would a picture. Lots of color, lots of shapes, and when you do that, you're going to find that the variety is there and that you will end up with a much better uh, meal and that your salad is more nutritionally balanced. But check this out, shoe peg white corn, delicious. And these were by Del Monte. And the nice thing about this is that 
I probably will not just put it on the stove and warm it up, put it with some butter, you know, maybe some other seasonings and make it into a hot dish. Remember, this is summer. So we're going to put together a summer salad using our shoe peg corn. So you're not going to want to miss that. The first salad that we're going to put together is a delicious summer salad that we're going to fill in a quart jar. Now, the nice thing about this salad is that it will last all oh, at least a week or more in your refrigerator. And actually, the great news is, is that you can prepare it uh, several days in advance if you know you have a picnic or something coming along. And as I said, it is going to be picnic friendly. So the first thing we're going to do is to add... Let's see, we're going to add in at least two cans of our Del Monte white shoe peg corn. So that's one and that's two. And for this bottle, that's going to be just enough. We're going to add in one diced Roma tomato. See, we're using the things that we brought home from the grocery. We're also going to add in a cup of tricolored uh, peppers that we've also diced. So those are ready to go in. We're going to get all of this because we want all of this to be a part of this salad. Now I'm going to uh, get my wooden spoon and give this just a little zhuzh so that we can get it all down in this jar. Now, we also need a little bit of olive oil, and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. To our salad, two tablespoons. Okay, then we need seasonings because after all, the corn does not come seasoned. So I'm gonna use my basic house seasoning. The nice thing about this is basic house seasoning, has black pepper, it has garlic powder, and it also has onion powder, and all of which is going to add a delicious taste to this salad. So I'm gonna put start with one teaspoon. And I'm going to keep that teaspoon pretty level because this is quite a bit. Okay. So our teaspoon. And we're going to need some rice vinegar. All right. I'm going to put in a, a glass full, a little shot glass full of rice wine vinegar, which is a very delicate flavor. Okay, now we're going to take this top off. I'm going to use my spoon and start to mix. Now the longer this sits, the better it's going to be. But you do want to make sure that you get a good mixture. And in fact, in a little while, I'll just put the top on it, shake, 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 and you can continue to add more corn later to the mixture because what's going to be the liquids that are going to form down in there are going to be delicious. Now I'm going to taste just a little bit to see if I need to add salt. Actually, I think we're okay. And you know that rice wine vinegar, between the rice wine vinegar and the, and the peppers, it's just a little sweet. Nothing extremely sweet, 
just a nice flavor. Okay, so we're ready to put the top on this. And we're going to shake because we want these to mix. Now, does the salad actually detox your body? The answer is no. You know, the liver does that. But will it make you feel better? Absolutely, because your salad, including the fiber, is going to help scrub up the gut and to allow some of the things that might hang around. If you have a greasy meal, it will help to eliminate some of those items in, in your body. Now, if you like a little heat, you can add a little jalapeno to this. And mm, then we've taken it over the top. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do with this. Just a little. I've got my diced jalapenos. And I'm just going to put in maybe two teaspoons. And maybe one and a half teaspoons of jalapenos. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of lime juice, just to give it a little extra kick, a little extra touch. There we go, just a little slice of lime. He was one of those little, little limes that didn't look that pretty, but he's still quite juicy. So we're adding that in to our mixture. Okay, now we're gonna put the top back on it. We're going to get it shaken up. And you'll know you have it well shaken when you can see the little green bits all throughout your corn salad. This is hard work, isn't that hard? Okay, we're gonna clean him up and get him into the refrigerator. Is that not beautiful? Our white shoe peg corn salad in your refrigerator, ready to go. The next salad involves cucumbers. And you'll notice that I have peeled these in such a way that we have beautiful stripes and they're that way for a purpose. Now we want these cucumbers to be sliced evenly because we want them to be distributed in the jar. They're gonna go with some nice onions, nice red onions. This is gonna be colorful and delicious, picnic friendly, and one that you can have in your refrigerator ready to pop out and take out whenever you want. Now, here's the tip. There's a caution. When you're eating a salad, particularly some type of green salad, don't just have green, totally green salads every day. And the reason for that is because of the fact it's probably too low in calories. You want healthy fats, you want healthy uh, minerals and vitamins and proteins to go into your salad and you want your body to be well sustained so remember variety in your salad is always beneficial
Well, let's build our next salad. I have one clean jar, and this is a quart size. Now, I'm going to layer in a handful of onions. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna layer in some cucumbers, handful of tomatoes, more onions, more cucumbers, more tomatoes. We've added in our tomatoes, our onions, our cukes. See how pretty those cukes look? and so fresh for the summer. And if you just happen to have tomatoes that you're taking out of your garden, then just imagine the flavor. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of black pepper, about a teaspoon into the top. I wanna to wipe this jar off because it's been sitting here and uh, clean it up just a bit. There we go. And we're gonna put in about a anywhere from a half to a teaspoon of pepper because our zesty tomato dressing already has salt. So that was one teaspoon of black pepper. And now let's add the zesty Italian. Now I'm using my great value a zesty Italian dressing and let me get that open. Okay. Before you start to pour, be sure to give it a good shake. All right. Now, tonight, this salad would taste good, but tomorrow is going to taste amazing. Now I'm going to keep pouring until I can see that it's all the way at the bottom. 
So that may take just a minute. And if you happen to have chopsticks, take your chopstick and just make some little pockets for it to go down into. That's exactly what it needs, little pockets, to be able to work that dressing down inside of this salad. Now remember this was a small bottle of dressing and we're going to use quite a bit of it. The nice thing about this too is that you can continue to add more cucumbers, more tomatoes, and probably even more onions as time goes by as you use it up. Just continue to add and you can add to the dressing. Now I want to be able to see the dressing at the top. So I'm going to add just a little more. I want it to come all the way up. I wish you could smell this. It smells wonderful. Okay, we're almost there. Voila. And notice how little dressing I have left. This was a full bottle, and I just have about an inch at the bottom of dressing. So I'll use that tonight in my classic salad, which is my toss salad. Salad number two, a tomato, cucumber, and onion salad that is ready for your refrigerator and for your picnic as well. Our third salad is a classic, and you know, you just can't beat it. And that is our classic toss salad. So let's do that. I have clean beautiful lettuce leaves that are here and we're not going to chop them we're going to tear them i'm just breaking them off just little bite-sized pieces and placing them into my bowl now you know we already have cucumbers already sliced and this is going to be enough for the big guy and i and you know if you're if you like salads you may make this particular salad your main meal and add just a little touch of each of the other two salads that we made to your bowl. How about that? So we have just a little more to go in. Love those salads. If you have those fresh, wonderful, beautiful tomatoes, slice some of those and put those in. Okay, we have our lettuce, we have our cubes, and you know we had a little bit of Italian dressing left, so we're going to be able to, I'm going to put all of these in there because they're good, and I want them to be a part of tonight's salad. I still had some tomatoes left over. I'm gonna put them on top because we're ready to serve dinner in just a matter of minutes. And I think we're gonna need just a little more tomato. Now, if you're a non-tomato person, then of course you can leave that out. But look at the beautiful color that we have. And uh, the only thing we need now is a bit of onion. We're going to slice our red onions into little half moons. I don't need a whole one. In fact, I may not even need this entire half onion. 
but I think I'll go ahead and slice it since I'm here, and then I can have some for another day, all ready to use. Okay, so those are ready. I'm going to sprinkle some. I have about a handful on top. And in fact, I think I'll use all of that since the big guy's onion person likes those onions. And they're so good for you. As well as, I'm going to add one more Roma tomato. Because I'm the tomato girl. That's in. And here is our classic tossed salad. Three summer salads ready for your picnic table. Three beautiful summer salads ready for any table, not just your picnic table, but we have our corn, shoe peg corn uh, salad that we have put together. We have our cucumber, tomato, and onion salad, and we also have our classic summer salad, just a nice toss salad. Any of these salads are friendly for picnics, no mayonnaise involved, so you can take them to any party that you want to go to, or just take them out on the deck and enjoy dinner. This was a quick and easy grocery pickup for an entire week. So in order to have a small pickup like this, you know one important thing. I have already shopped my pantry. I have already shopped my refrigerator and freezer. And these are the things that were left on my list that I needed. How about that? 